Hello and welcome. This new level 5 lockdown has seen the doors of our libraries closed yet again. Since you cannot come into the library, we at Kerry Library have ways of bringing the library to you. This video will be a short tutorial on how to use BorrowBox. Now what is BorrowBox? BorrowBox is an app designed and powered by Belinda Digital. It allows you to access and download digital content from a large collection of titles. BorrowBox allows you to borrow either an ebook or an e audiobook from your carrylibrary.ie webpage or from the app, and you can do this anytime, anywhere. All you need is an email address, your library barcode, and your PIN number. As well as being able to use BorrowBox on your PC, you can also download the app to your iPhone, smartphone, tablet, or Kindle Fire. It is all completely free. Once you have downloaded the title, they can be heard or read offline. So now let's go to the Carry Library homepage. Here we can see that the libraries have been closed due to the Level 5 National Plan for Living with COVID. And we can see that we have some online services available. We can either click here or we can click up here. So let's first click down here to see the online services. Bear with me. Right, so to access our online services, you will need a library card number and the PIN. The library card number is the 14 digit number on the back of the library card. And the PIN is usually the four last digits of that card number. So that's all you will really need. If you don't have a library card, you can join the libraries and you don't need to go in person to the library because they're, they're closed at the moment. So you can click here to join the library and this will give you a library card number and the PIN to be able to enjoy our online resources. Down here we can see that you can have information on BorrowBox, which is what this video is about. So the BorrowBox again offers you audiobooks and ebooks to all the library users. And again, you can use them on your PC at home or on your mobile um, devices, such as your iPhones, smartphones, um, tablets, and Amazon apps. To use them on those devices, it's better to download the app. So you can get the app, Apple one on the iTunes for the smartphones on Google Play Store and the Amazon App Store if you're using Kindles. But it's important to know that only the Kindle Fire can use BorrowBox, not the other types of Kindles. Once you've installed that app on your phone, or tablet or, or Kindle, all you need to do is search for Cary County Library Services in the library field and put your library card and PIN. But now let's go up here on the top of our screen and go to online resources. And you can see here ebooks and audiobooks, which is to get into BorrowBox. So let's click on here. So this will bring us to the Carry Library BorrowBox page, and which has all the ebooks and audiobooks that we can choose and listen and read to. So the first thing we need to do is go up here to the screen box to sign in. So this is the first thing we do. So let's click here. So now this will lead us to this page where we put our library card number up here on this segment. Um, it's a 14 digit number. Um, that starts with 20017. So we put the entire number here. And then down here below, we put insert our pin, which is usually the four last digits. By default, it's always the four last digits unless you've changed it before. So you put your pin here and your library card number here, and then we can sign in. If you're not a member yet, you can click on this link and you can fill out an, an application form to get a, a temporary library card number and pin, which you'll be able to use then to access BorrowBox. So again, put your library card number here and your pin and press the green um, box, sign in. So this will bring you to your account page on BorrowBox. Here we will see up here your name. And this is very interesting. There's a little help link. And it features the most common questions and the answers um, regarding BorrowBox and how to borrow books and the number of books you can take, etc. Usually here you see loans is how many books you have out. So I have, for example, three audiobooks 
out at the moment. Um, I don't have any ebook out at the moment, and I've reserved two audiobooks. We'll see that in a while. You are allowed to take five of each, so I'm not allowed to take any audiobooks anymore because I've reached my maximum, and I'm still allowed to take five ebooks. Now, I'm quite fond of audiobooks, so let's have a look how we browse in the section. You can search uh, titles by keyword or different parameters, title, author, narrator, or you can even put more parameters if you like in advanced search. But let's first click here on audiobooks, for example. This will bring us to our collection. Okay, so it features all the audiobooks that we have in our collection. If you, you can check by new releases, top downloads, new to the library, or browse by category. It's very useful to browse by category, which brings up your favorite genres. Bear with me a second. And let's pick, for example, nonfiction. This will bring open the page where we have all the options of audiobooks of the non-fiction category so we can scroll downwards you see some of the titles now here for example we can see that you can preview the title see if you enjoy the narrator's voice for example um and you can see that some art titles are already on loan what you do in a situation if you're interested in that title is you can reserve it and once the person has returned the um the loan the book you will receive an email saying it's your time, your turn to download it and you can enjoy the book then. Now let's, for example, I've paused the book and I've actually returned an audio book. So I have one slot available and now let's show how to download another book. So let's have a look here, preview. Okay, um, let's say we enjoyed it and we want to borrow it now. So we click on borrow. Spare with me. Okay, and it's, it's in confirm your e, e audiobook loan. So you click here to confirm. You remembering that you have 21 days to keep the book to listen to it. So you confirm your audiobook loan. Just click on that. And it's great. Now on your PC, your home, the home PC or your the laptop you just download the audiobook or well, sometimes if it's a big audiobook you can download it in different parts you click on download the audiobook and that's going to appear in your downloads folder and then you just open on a downloads folder it also comes with a, a nice pdf teaching you how to open it on a download folder if you need some tips or help so yeah it's downloading here at the bottom once that's ready you can click on that and start listening to your audiobook. Just to show here, this is my download folder on my personal laptop. We can see our title has been downloaded here. So we right click. It's in a zip file, it's a compressed file that makes it easier for you to get the book downloaded into your, into your laptop or your, your device. So we need to open it. Extract all. And we can just extract it. So once that is complete, we can open our folder with the title. Okay, almost there. Right. So now you can see it's we have unzipped and this is the book. This every book that you download has this PDF here, which is a guide on how to if you get into any trouble, it kind of walks you through the basic steps. But anyway, we've we've opened. So we can click on the folder and we can just click on the audio file and just start enjoying listening to the audio book that you chose. 
It's pretty simple. Now we can walk through um, how to get an ebook. Again, just to repeat, we have free audiobooks on loan, and I have now one ebook on loan. The maximum is five, I've reserved two, so I don't have any more audiobooks that I can download, but I can download another four ebooks. So let's have a look at ebooks now. Click on ebooks. Now, here. Let's say it gives you a few of the titles that we have. Let's click on the options of adults, young adult children. Let's have a look at adults, for example. You can also browse by category again. So let's see what adult books that we have. Gives you a nice collection here. Of course, we can also browse by category like before. Again, if it's on reserve, somebody has taken it, you can reserve it. And then once that book is available for you, you will get an email message and then you can download and enjoy the book. Let's say I would like to read, let's have a look there. Let's have some. Go down, let's say. This looks interesting. The other end of the line. Looks like um can let's preview and see if it's interesting the preview will give you a short snippet a few pages of the book so you can in, see if it's uh, to your liking let's see what this one is about right so here we have Again, gives you the chapters. You can read a little bit and see if you enjoy the book. Okay, interesting. Let's say you liked it. So you just click on borrow. And there you have it. You confirm your ebook loan. Yep, yeah, we'll give that one a go. Okay, now interesting. You can download it for the e reader. So you will need the Adobe Digital Edition software to read this ebook. If you don't have it, you can download it on this link below. Okay, so now back on the starting page, I just like to quickly show you this link, the help link, which is quite useful if you run in some trouble or difficulties. It covers the mo most important questions that people have asked in the past so it teaches you how to search browse borrow download the audiobooks download the ebooks how to unzip the audiobook that we went through and some common questions like what is an audiobook um, what internet browser supported etc so this cover is a pretty handy page and it covers the most common questions and walks you through how to solve some issues okay so let's go back Okay, I hope this short video was useful in helping you join BorrowBox and how to navigate the page. Going back to the main web page of Carrier Library, just to reiterate, you, if you're using the BorrowBox on your iPhones or smartphones, tablets, or in your, on your Kindle Fire, you can hover here on these links to download the app for those devices. And the process will be very, sim very similar. The only thing is on those devices, it will give you an option to put the library that you're a member of, and you will put the Kerry County Council Library Services in the library field. And then it's the same thing. You put your library card number and PIN, and you'll be in BorrowBox, navigate as we've seen before, as I've showed you, and then you can enjoy all the eBooks and all the audiobooks that you like. Okay, thanks very much for your attention and hope you enjoyed this short video. Stay safe, bye.